placed an official PR just yet. But, um, you know, Kronos is up there. Um, Smirk is here as well. Um, a Shoto player also plays Sephiroth. I uh, know he's been working on Kazuya as well. Um, and then there's players like Shu, but Kronos is definitely in that um, top three conversation, if not top one. So, you know, versus playing versus Fatality. I mean, one of those players, man, he can do anything on any day. You just never know. Yeah, I mean, if you've ever watched the Fatality stream, he's always labbing optimal combo routes. So, you know, he's ready if Kronos slips up even once. And here we go into game one on Battlefield. The immediate dash attack is going to put uh, Falcon right where Snake wants him. Oh my gosh. Right off the bat, <laughs> Kronos is not afraid. He wants to stock right away. Yeah, I mean, why not go for it, right? Yeah, uh, if sure. you get that hit, I mean, that's huge momentum going into a game where you definitely want it. Battlefield a great stage for Snake, but I'm sure that uh, Falcon's able to utilize these platforms, especially with the way that Fatality um, is comboing. And here we go, starting off with it right there. Almost gets the knee. And that's the Fatality special. He loves to go for those up -bees. He's never afraid to go for that in any position. If Even if you're all the way up there, oh and goodness. unfortunate, the C4 kills Kronos. Yeah, I must have uh, switched back and he wasn't um, aware of it. That's unfortunate uh, for Kronos here. But, you know, uh, Fatality at 100%. We'll see if Kronos can get that stock back quickly. The key for any brawler archetype character against Snake is how well are you going to deal with grenades? Are you going to get traded a lot? Are your combos going to get interrupted go. unnecessarily? And yeah, that is just, Fatality yeah. is not having that problem. <laughs> yeah, Fatality is uh, one of the most elite Falcons I've ever seen at edge guarding in general. I mean, the character has so many decent tools, but um, a character most people would say doesn't have a great recovery, but he's able to be so confident off stage because he knows exactly where he can go. That's a crazy knockback angle off of Snake's dash attack. I wonder if Fatality's DI was just that elite. Yeah, it's got a lot of hits. It's one of those dash attacks that can kind of, kind of do weird things sometimes. But sure. Okay, only gets two up airs there, but he is in a fantastic position. Obviously, he dies to any Snake grab, but this is a big lead. Yeah, he's not really. Ooh. Yeah, it's really <laughs> tough to get a grab on a player that's moving yeah. uh, this often. I mean, Fatality is definitely not sitting in shield. Fatality uh, knows that Falcons out of shield options aren't the best, so movement is the key, um, especially for a character like Snake. Man, that was uh, a really quick first game. We'll see if Kronos can find his footing in this one. I'm not um, too convinced that he's going to go so quietly. Yeah. Um, this is a best of five set. Everything today is best of five, so plenty of time for adaptation. We'll see where they go game two. It can be super tough in the best of three to take a punch in the, in the mouth like that yeah, and respond in time. But now you have the games. You won enough yesterday that you have earned yourself a full set. Yeah, you can absolutely uh, you know, try some things out. There's not as much risk, but we go into game two, right back to Battlefield. Don't disagree with this decision. The stage was not the issue. It's a great stage for Snake, nonetheless. Immediate tech chase with the up B. Gonna earn Fatality an early lead once again. Absolutely, I and mean, everything's working out for him so far. Um, he's really just seems very comfortable in the matchup. Of course, Scat from uh, Georgia. He definitely has the experience. Grenade he should be dead. Is oh, the Cypher oh, saves the him temporarily. Not really. And yeah, Fatality proving he has played many a snake in his day. He's dealing with grenades with perfection. Yeah, offstage just looks also. awful. It, lo it looks like he's got no options. Because Fatality is so fast. I mean, Fatality, I mean, Falcon is fast, right? But both of them. Um, but Falcon has that like double jump height. He's got that air speed. He can get up to Snake in a, like, a second. I'm at up, he just covers every option. He doesn't just immediately air dodge through it. Having such a big aerial command grab is an excellent option against Cypher as well. Yeah, no, absolutely, man. You don't have to worry about that armor. It's right. Just straight through. And there you go. Kronos finding his uh, first kill of the set, really. I'm in game two. And the C4 placement didn't hit Fatality, but it did save him from Fatality being able to use the platform to go high enough to actually get that recovery, so... It's own way, C4 was the real recovery move there. Yeah, that's the uh, true utility of the move, right? I mean, it's not just for the kills, it's for the stage denial. Mm -hmm. But the back, we're going to take the stock there. Uh, but, you know, Fatality getting stuck gets the 90% off that uh, C4. It's not too far off. And that grenade didn't quite take him off the top. Oh, but he is going to get hit by the landing Nikita. And this is a really good situation for Kronos. Nice. He carries, Ooh, but didn't get the, the cross-up still comes through. 
Yeah, no, I've been playing a lot of snakes this week, and there's a lot of them here. A lot of good players, and um, a parry up tilt, man. That is such a devastating parry punish. And there he goes with the C4, gets the second uh, stock from Fatality. And an excellent response from Kronos, I have to say. You know, you get three stock by a player of Fatality's caliber. That kind of creeping doubt can sink into your mind at that moment, but obviously Kronos has bounced back nicely. Ooh, nice progressive option there. His last stock not going his way, though. The gentleman will put him in a bad position. He's got some options here. Gets back to the stage. Definitely didn't want the Nikita on that platform. Managed to survive nonetheless. When you're at such a big percent lead against Snake, you don't have to respect grenades nearly as much as you do in other situations. You saw the fatality was fine chasing him up to that top platform despite the grenades falling down. Yeah, right now, racking up that little bit of percent is perfectly fine for Fatality. 1-Up-B should do it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's really, uh, I mean, with this raid, it's pretty close to even in this game right now. But however, yeah, that, that back are going to clip sure. him, and that's going to take it. Yeah, I mean, Kronos there, not too far off from that one, but he really needed a conversion of some kind to find a stock with that percentage. And we'll see if Kronos chooses to go somewhere else. I agree with you, Cam. I don't think Battlefield is the problem whatsoever. Yeah, that went a lot better that game, but, but he may... I also think you maybe have a stronger counter pick at the same time. Like you small might, Battlefield, yeah. or maybe Northern Cave, or he's thinking Town and City. We yeah, Kronos knows better than I do about Snake stages. This is going to be uh, an interesting, you know, yeah. stage to play on. But that's not the one I would imagine. Yeah. Would be the counter pick, personally, unless he's going for a different character. I feel that Town and City assists combo char characters, especially with horizontal combo games Absolutely. like yeah. Falcon is perfectly capable of. And those narrower side blast zones are really good for upbeat yeah, kills. Yeah, absolutely. That your Falcon dive is going to take stocks criminally early on that stage. But I think that they did change it up. Yeah, we changed back to small battlefield. So yeah, which that's I what you were saying. I think, more, yeah, yeah, I think this is a this is a great really good stage. option. But he goes high. He's a little bit less options coming down, but at least fa uh, Fatality isn't able to sit on that top platform. Just wait. Yeah, and oh, oh cool. yeah, the grenade is... into me. I mean, you know, Fatality's loud yeah, that he, thing he's out. He's loud that a million times. <laughs> that was, uh, yeah. When you're playing with snake grenades, like, and you're able to convert off them, just like Snake is. I mean, they don't really become snake projectiles as much. The tech roll read coming out for Fatality. He is feeling himself here in game three. Oh man, double grenade explosion. Gonna take a ton of damage off of it. Okay. Get the sticky on. Yep. A little safe pressure. And he didn't need it. He just the up tilt kills. Yeah, that up tilt's definitely reaching the platforms on this stage. Yeah. So moving on to this game, I mean, you gotta really find a way to earn your way back into it. Um, he's definitely been doing fine. I mean, second such situations. It's usually him with a, a Kronos with a bit of um, a deficit, but he's worked back through. Interesting choice to go for up air instead of the up B there on Fatality Spark, but he is going to yeah. land the stock eventually. Yeah, the thing is up there, I think Kronos can just air dodge, I and mean, then it puts Fatality in a rough ah. spot. Because I think he can drift back to the ledge. Almost really nice C4 there. coverage to cover his track. But Fatality is getting his juggles in. This oh. should be... Uh, okay. Not maybe. Yeah, it's really tough to get the knee off of those oh. IDJs, but oh man, unfortunate the for Kronos. was not quite there. It is a 3-0 for Fatality. One of our top seeds in this tournament, so no surprise to see him advance to winner's quarterfinals. Absolutely not, yep. Goes exactly as seeded there, but I mean, Kronos really showed some life there. Um, so we'll see uh, how he does in the loser's bracket coming up here. Uh, but Fatality moving on. Yeah, it's not very surprising. Um, player of that caliber. Um, those conversions were on point. His edge guards were mm -hmm. clinical. I mean, absolutely uh, devastating offstage. You could just tell he was so comfortable. And I think that's such 100%. a big 